Okay guys, now, now we're moving on. We're moving on to the right hook. So this one is a bit more, uh, I would say like you don't throw it that often, all right? The right hook is not a punch that you would use that much, but the right hook is a very powerful punch. Obviously, if you're orthodox, you're right-handed and you're using a right hook, there's a lot of power that comes from that, okay? I'm gonna show you briefly how you throw a right hook. So just like the left hook, our elbows are down and when we throw a right hook, we literally, just like we do with the right hand, we turn our shoulders level, just like that, but we go slightly beyond it a bit, all right? So with the right hand, we go straight, the elbows, the shoulders end up becoming kind of level. With the right hook, it kind of goes beyond it because you're really committing to that right hook, all right? Same thing with the hips, it goes really, it really turn, you really turn into it, twisting your core. There's a lot of core involved in the right hook, all right? Reason being because the right hand has a lot of core, but the right hook, you're going beyond, all right? So like I said, the left hook, there's a straight line in the middle that you try just to go beyond and back. Now, obviously with my right hook, it's going around and it's coming back there. So right hand by my chin and I pick my elbow up, it goes around and it comes back, all right? It's very important you come back there. You need to learn to be balanced with this, it's very important because this one, you are gonna end up feeling like you wanna fall forward with it yeah, you don't want, to have, don't want to have to do that. So if you are doing that, you should know that you might be doing that wrong. All right, our hands are up by our chin. We throw our right hook, we turn our hips, turn our heel. There, this is what the upper body part looks like. I'm gonna show you what the feet look like. But for the upper body part, we turn our elbows up, the right elbow up, and the palm is facing us, all right? Just like I said with the left hook, the palm faces you, goes around the guard and it comes back in. What it looks like on your opponent, when your opponent, when you find your opponent, maybe you would use this if your opponent had his guard like this. Yeah, if they had a guard like that, you have an opening there, all right? A lot of people, especially beginners, they don't know how to parry and catch shots, all right? That's another thing that is for a, a bit more of an in-depth course that I might do in the future. But for now, in the beginning one, you don't need to practice the parries and, and the slips yet. But some people might hold their guard like this, all right? especially beginners, there, all right? There's an opening over there and an opening on the other side too. That's why the left hook or the right hook comes in, into play, okay? So as we throw our right hook now, I'm gonna turn into it and come back. Very important you come back into it, okay? I'm gonna show you what the hips look like as we go down to the body, yeah? So we turn and back, yeah? Elbows in, straight after, boom. And I'm back, the elbows come in, I come back in. Okay, I do it nice and slow again for you. There, see that? And then I come back into my stance. There, and back, I go down. I'll show you what it looks like from below. So this is what our feet look like when we're doing it. All right, so the right hook, there. Look at that, look how much commitment there is on the right hook. This is why it's a punch you don't use that much because there's a lot of commitment involved. It's only if you have your opponent maybe on the ropes or if you have a real good opening that you would use this shot. Look how much my heel and my hips are turned into that right hook. I come back into my original stance after. So right hook, then back. Right hook, then back from the side. So I turn, turn my hips, turn my heel and back, yeah? So right hook, and back. Right hook, and back. One more. Right hook, and back, all right? Show you from up above one, one last time. So, here is what it looks like. And back, and back, and back, all right? So that's it. So this is the left hook, and this is the right hook, you see how much wider it is, how much commitment is on it. So take this uh, 
with you and practice it in front of a mirror. Do it nice and slow. Start doing 100 reps a day or however it may take to, to get that into your subconscious mind where it just settles into your nervous system and it becomes like nat natural for you where you can just throw a right hook easily. Same thing with the other punches. I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.